Well, what's going on, YouTube fam? Today, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the Bleach Coral High Jordan 1. Uh, this is part of a uh, Stage Haze pack. Before I get into the video and go over the review and all that stuff, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time kind of just stumbling across one of my videos, I want to welcome you to my channel. Tell you thanks for taking out some time just to drop by, check out one of my videos. But look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for me. That way, when I upload new material, I post new content or anything like that, you get notified and you can head to the channel and you can check out the latest video that I uploaded for you guys. Uh, if you're on uh, social media like um, Instagram, Twitter, and you enjoy pictures of sneakers, uh, outfits, just sneaker talk or anything related to kicks, uh, give me a follow and you can find me at I am TMC I I so go ahead and give me a follow there and lastly hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video really goes a long way and it just motivate me to keep wanting to record these videos uh, when I see you guys enjoy the content all right so now that that's out of the way if we go ahead and we can jump right into the review uh, so first I'm gonna kind of just show you guys like the different materials uh, then I'm gonna touch on the quality control and then towards the end of the video, I'm going to toss these on feed, go over size and comfort and all that stuff. So just hang around uh, for the entire video, stick it out with me. And uh, I pretty much got you guys covered for everything related to, to the shoe. So these are part of a Stage Haze pack. Like I said, initially when we first started seeing pictures of these, the nickname for these was Stage Haze. But they had the low top and the high tops were also called bleach coral so later on as we got closer to the release date we saw that these are actually part of a stage haze pack and um they had the high top and they had the low top so i was a fan of both um more of a fan of the low top and i have the video for those coming uh so just stick around i just head to the youtube channel you can check out the video of the lows as well uh i initially i was on the fence with these because i thought these reminded me a lot of the barren ones and i have uh, a picture of those i'll show you guys and i'm also doing a comparison video just so you can kind of see the differences between the two so when i first saw pictures of these i was like nah i'm gonna just pass because these just look too similar to the barren ones but uh once i started seeing videos on feet pics and all that stuff i started to notice that there was enough differences between the two to make me go ahead and pull the trigger and cop these and they were on the sneakers app and i actually just hopped in the raffle not thinking i was gonna win and i actually hit on these so um seemed like a lot of people weren't really feeling these because they keep popping up on websites and they actually were sitting on the shelves in some stores in the mall so it seemed like if you wanted to really really get these you could get your hands on them i'm not sure why people passed on them and maybe because it's the material so that's just that kind of just jump right into that so you don't have the typical leather on here. They went with this kind of cracked uh, cracked leather look on here on the black part of the shoe. And you guys can see that um, it's like a real cracked, not really distressed, but just like a cracked leather. And I'm not sure what Nike's angle is, why they keep using this. I'm not, it's, it's you know, I don't have anything against it, but it just seemed like it's something that they've been pushing lately. Uh, they've been putting this cracked leather look on a lot of their shoes. So you got this cracked leather here and then you just got regular leather. It's a decent grain of leather on here. And then on the heel, you have this nice, nice grain. It's more, well, it's rough. It's a rough, uh, like a du uh, new buck, dura buck type suede on the back. Um, but overall, the, the leather materials, you got different kind of materials all through the shoe. Uh, the toe box is a smooth, um, well, not smooth, it's just a, it's kind of a textured, not tumbled, but a little textured leather. And it's not cracked, like I said, like on the black panel and in the black portions of the shoe. Um, you got the pink, or that coral color, Nike Air. In the inside, you have Nike Air, pink insole with the black writing. Um, coming to this little tag right here. This is just, you guys can pause the video and you guys can read this if you want. Just to let you know that they used this cracked type leather material on the shoe. Um, so that's pretty much it, man. It's regular Jordan 1 silhouette. Uh, it's just this new color blocking and new, uh, this cracked, cracked leather that they went with on here. Like I said, it's just something that Nike's been experimenting with, look like it, because uh, it's been on a few shoes so far. Here's the outsole, regular typical Jordan 1 outsole that we all know and love. Um, as far as anything else with the kicks, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, quality control wise, uh, it's okay. The QC is decent, it's not the best. Um, Cause in 
what I mean is like I have some uh, some glue marks on my pair uh, if you guys can see like right here on the toe box you probably won't be able to see this when I toss them on feet but I do have some glue stains on them um, and I guess maybe that's the way they, they kind of put the, the outsole midsole and the upper together just kind of a little sloppy with the glue marks and maybe they couldn't clean it up that well it's not the worst because I had some pairs and some pairs of shoes from from Nike and it's been horrible, but it, it's not the worst. You know, I've, I've seen worse. Don't have any glue or anything on the back tab. Uh, overall, the QCs is, is just decent. It's not the best, not the worst, but it's just kind of expected at this point with Nike. You know, I, I don't really expect top-notch quality control from them anymore. Uh, I think you're just setting yourself up for disappointment if you do. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the quality control. Uh, show you guys the box. You do get extra set of laces. If you're not a fan of the black, you can put the coral or the white in. So I like how they gave you some options. Regular Nike box that we usually get with the Jordan 1, black with the red writing. Uh, come down to your label. Um, have the little QC code. You can open up your camera, scan that, and it usually just opens up the Nike app. I believe at some point we'll be able to track and authenticate our shoes, but for now, uh, just open up the regular Nike app. So there's your color breakdown, product code, and all that good stuff. Uh, no special tissue or anything, regular tissue that we normally get with the J's. Uh, you got a little quality control stamp on the lid. And that's pretty much it as far as the box go. Show you guys the kicks one more time. Before I take them off here, do me a huge favor. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these. Huge fan uh, of you guys. When you guys leave me comments, I, I kind of try and chat back with you guys down in the comment section if i don't reply back to your questions or what you ask or say i'm gonna hit the heart button or the thumbs up button next to your comment so um let's chop it up down in the comment section but i'm gonna take them off here now i'm gonna toss them on feet i'll show you guys what they look like on feet y'all hang tight all right guys here's a quick on feet look at your bleach coral jordan one highs or stage haze jordan ones whatever we nickname and calling these just want to show y'all what they look like really quick on feet uh, first things first we just kind of jump right into sizing it's usually my most asked question from you guys whenever i post pictures or have videos or anything so to me i have like a medium to somewhat narrow foot and i don't feel like my feet are doing any growing and i like a snug and exact fit and to get that fit i usually go down a half size in my one so i went down a half size in these and they fit me perfect it's not like a snug painful fit but it's a snug tight fit like i like and i think with ones um like the more you wear them they eventually going to start feeling better on your feet and break in so if you like a snug fit like me i think you can go down a half size and you'll be cool if you don't like that fit go true to size if you have a medium to a narrow width foot you want like a little bit of room you don't like that snug exact fit like me just go true to size and you'll be cool if you have wide feet and you want a snug and exact fit i think go true to size and you'll be good to go however if you have wide feet and you want a little bit of room in your shoes a little space then you might want to consider going up a half size all in all i do think uh true to size is the play in these but it's all about size preference and how you like your shoes to fit um as far as comfort goes the jordan one is a technology from early 80s and the tech hasn't changed much this is a really flat shoe. You feel a lot of the ground when you walk in them. Uh, it's not uncomfortable by any means. You could casually rock these all day long, not be in any kind of pain at all. I think you'll be A-OK. -okay. And with ones, I just feel like the longer you wear them and the more you wear them and break them in, the better they start to feel on feet anyway. So um, that's just what I think. Um, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. As I mentioned earlier, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, I have more videos on the way, more kicks to share and show you guys, but I'm going to end it here. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Till the next video. Peace.